Hello, it's John Moody here, and I've been working on an updated Moody Sash Window 2.0 based on the subdivision workflow and also with geometry nodes. So I've discovered lots of things uh, doing this update, and I'd like to share some of them here. Today's video is about UV unwrapping materials in geometry nodes. So uh, let's get right into it. Here is a default cube, and let me make some loop cuts so we can keep the image of a default cube when it's uh, in the sub D space. So I'm basically making loop cuts on all sides, and I'm right clicking to keep them in the center. Then I'm gonna hit Alt Shift Click all of these loop cuts and go control B to bevel them. Now this itself will make a nice subdivision workspace cube, but I'm going to go one step further and add a bevel modifier. I want to go to two segments with just one. You get this weird triangle. We don't like triangles. So I'm going with two. And I'm going to go to percent. I like the way that works for what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to make the profile one. And this works real well with the subdivision workflow. Okay, next we're going to create some vertex groups. So I'll go back into edit mode and I'm going to go in x-ray view. So this will select everything that I box select. See? Go Control G, New Group, go to this green triangle and name the group Top. Okay, I'm also going to go select these on the right, Control G, and name that Right. And you can go ahead and do the bottom, the front, the back, the left, you name it, uh, but this is all I need for what I'm going to do. Next, we're going to go and make UV seams. So let's go into the edge mode and I'm going to make these seams as vertex groups. So first let's uh, select sharp edges and let's make that a group. I'm going to call this seam. Okay next uh, I'm going to try other possibilities. So I'm going to unhighlight the front edge, this back edge, and I'll only leave the back one highlighted. Control G and call that seam one. And we're going to do the same thing, but on the sides. So let's deselect this, Alt Shift and click. And Control G, seam Okay, so this is all set up for subdiv work. Matter of fact, let's, let's try it. Uh, there's a subdivision on here. And now with this bevel, I can control the sharpness of the edges at will. But since I'm going to do this in the geometry nodes realm, I'm going to take this off because it'll be kind of overkill to have subdivision here and in geometry nodes. Okay, so that's off. Grab Y. Now I'm going to create a new box, new cube. And this is going to be my geometry node one. So new. I'm going to grab the original cube in and connect it here. So now this is basically that. Okay, let me get a uh, texture on here. So I have a red brick texture I've been using. I think I got it from uh, from Gumroad or no, uh, Blender Kit. Yeah, and anyhow, there's a nice brick texture. And since I put it on this cube, it's automatically on this cube. Now let's do some geo node stuff. So I'm going to find set position and I'm going to select the top, that top vertex group that I picked. So let's see, I need a named attribute. And 
Notice this says Boolean here, and when I click top, it changes to float. It just automatically changes to float whenever you put something else. Now, it happens that float is what I want, so we're good, but later it's going to be a problem. Now, I'm going to connect combine XYZ to the uh, offset. And that will allow me to, you know, raise the, the top here. Uh, but I really like this setup. I use it all the time. And rather than always getting those three nodes and dealing with them, I'm going to make that a group. So control G for a group. And let's drag the name into the group input. And also the X y and z nice and i'll name this um, super set position so now let's make a copy of that and hit right and make that go to zero and we'll use the x for that so now we have a super distorted mesh and what we need is a UV unwrap here. The way to get that is with store attribute. Store named attribute. Okay. We're going to change this top part to 2D vector and this part to face corner. That's real important. And then we're going to uh, find the name UV map. So this is going to find the UV map from the texture coordinate in this original cube. Okay, now we need to UV unwrap it. So I'm going to connect that to the value UV unwrap. And we still don't see anything, but what we need is seam. And so here I'm going to do that vertex group we originally had. So named attribute and I change this to scene and we got something but it looks pretty weird okay so I pretty much found through trial and error and lots of error that the only thing that really works here is integer so I'm going to press integer that knocks the, the socket it, it disconnects the socket and so I'll reconnect it and now it looks pretty good. Oh, I promised subdiv workspace. And so let's, let's add that here as uh, node, uh, sub. Okay, here we go. Now that's going, let's put it at level two. And what we're going to get is some weird distortion along all the edges. This is normal for subdivision workflow. And the way you correct it is to find keep corners. That will correct it here. If you're doing this in the, in the regular non-geometry node world under advanced and smoothing, there's a uh, keep corners option. So there it is. It's all fixed. That is pretty much uh, what I wanted to show you. Um, let's try these different seams. So I'll go seam one. And now it messed it all up because it jumped it back to float so i'll go to integer and reconnect them and to avoid that constant connecting and reconnecting i'm just going to grab name and connect it to the uh, group input and now we can try different seams at will here so here's the first seam here's seam one notice all the continuous sides there and here is seam two all right so this works great i will have some other videos or at least one more video talking about making groups out of this and selecting different sections and and whatnot but this can get you going with unwrapping in geometry nodes the key here is uh, vertex groups and named attributes and changing it to integer. All right, thanks, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.